What's going on YouTube? Gios Norad here. So in today's video we're discussing about very important jailbreak research that has been made available by the Pangu jailbreak team. A team of jailbreakers we don't get to talk about very often nowadays, but they used to be very active back in the days, back when iOS 8, iOS 9 and even iOS 7. So they are very very good jailbreakers and of course security researchers. And they were at Black Hat 2019 in USA and they had two different talks. Both of them related to iOS. The first one is called Attacking the iPhone Tennis Max, and then of course we have this one here called Towards Discovering Remote Code Execution Vulnerabilities in Apple FaceTime. Both of these very very important for the jailbreak community, especially because they talk about vulnerabilities and they talk about how to exploit them and of course what hurdles you have to pass before you're able to get complete code execution on devices. And they also address the newer models, for example the iPhone Tennis Max in here here, which do contain various new security mechanisms, for example PAC or pointer authentication codes, and these new security measures were indeed posing threats to the jailbreak community. As you probably know, we still do not have an iPhone XS, XS Max or XR jailbreak for the iOS 12.2. 12.3 or 12.4, while for the rest of the devices, the jailbreak has been released months ago. So as you can see here in this presentation as they had, they talked about quite a lot of important things. And in this presentation in here, they talk about a vulnerability, a race condition vulnerability in XNU or the iOS kernel. And they talk about exploiting that bug on the iPhone prior to the A12. And then of course, they talk about the PAC or pointer authentication codes and how it's implemented and how effective it is. And then they come back to the vulnerability and talk about re-exploiting the bug but on the iPhone XS Max which is an A12 device. And of course through their research you can see exactly the differences and the different approach on exploiting the same vulnerability but on different devices. And this is actually a wealth of information for any jailbreak developer, especially if they are targeting the A12 devices because the A9, A10, A11 and so on devices were jailbroken in the past, are jailbroken to this day, they do not have pack, they are still vulnerable to various methods we use and so on, so it's easier to jailbreak them once you have TFP0. But for the A12 devices, the situation is actually quite dire and any bit of research is actually welcome. And this presentation in here from Black Hat created by Pangu team actually contains a lot of information for the A12 devices, which does indeed help the uh, jailbreak developers to target these devices easier in the future. Now, if we switch gears to this in here, which is basically about discovering remote code execution vulnerabilities in FaceTime, you probably know FaceTime, you probably used it in the past, and it's actually quite vulnerable as it turns out from this presentation in here. And of course, if you have remote code execution or RCE, you can then start working towards a jailbreak. So quite a lot of important things presented in here as well. They talk about the code execution flows while making a FaceTime call. They talk about the attack surfaces and vulnerabilities along with the code execution flows and so on. So they do have quite a lot of information in here that can be usable and that can be very, very useful if somebody is indeed trying to get vulnerabilities in this particular Apple software and trust me there are a lot of vulnerabilities to be discovered. So quite a lot of important research by Pangu team. Of course all of this research can be used for a jailbreak and is very useful for a jailbreak developer to better understand the system and to better understand different attack methods and so on. And the last piece of research that I would like to talk in this video is possibly the most important one that has been released lately and this one is released by Saigusa and he says in here quote APRR or Apple Hardware Secrets might include a free zero day. A zero day is basically a vulnerability that hasn't been disclosed to Apple so at the time this was released the vulnerability was new even to Apple. So definitely important. And APRR, this is actually hardware territory right now. And these are things that you do not get to know without having strong research behind you. And of course, without having strong security research and reverse engineering knowledge. And Saigusa posted this blog post in here, which is actually very, very detailed containing information about KTRR or kernel text read-only region, about the APRR and so on. And remember, KTRR, KPP, APRR, these are actually very, very important because these are Apple's best security mechanisms to prevent the jailbreakers from doing their job. And this is actually hardware-based. It's actually quite hard to find out this information in here and the way these security mechanisms are implemented on A12. So a very, very good blog post in here for any jailbreak developer who wants to better understand this 
The quality of the research done by Saiguza is actually astonishing and as I said this is not information you get to see every day. These are bits and pieces put together through a lot of lengthy research and of course this is not something that Apple would tell you and it's not in a documentation, it's not in a book, you just have to find it yourself through a lot of research and of course through a lot of poking around. So what Saigusa has posted in here is actually extremely valuable and I definitely recommend anybody who is interested in jailbreaking or security research to dive a little bit into this posting here. But as you can see it's actually quite long and the reason for that is that it covers quite a lot of aspects of these hardware implementations of Apple. So all of this research discussed in this video contributes to a better jailbreak in the future, better methods to jailbreak in the future so that we can keep up with Apple's new technology. Because as you can see with A12 we actually got a pretty serious strike and that is of course PAC which we barely understand and while we do understand we do have security researchers who do understand the way it's implemented and so on we have fewer that know how to bypass it and even fewer who know how to integrate that bypass in a jailbreak that's why we have so little jailbreak research on A12 for the moment so all this research in here contributes to better jailbreaks in the future we're glad these are posted Thank you for watching, I am Geo Snow, until the next time, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. Peace out.